What is going on? And welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to talk about my thoughts on Behemoth after some initial progging and clear. I have a lot to say about it, so let's get into it. But before we do, you know the drill. At the time of this recording, we only have 126 subscribers left to reach our 1000 subscriber goal. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the last remaining 126 subscribers. You will one tap your plus 25 weapon, I promise. 100% guarantee. Alright, anyway, let's get on with the video. So first things first, as many of you already know, and it's been flooding the Lost Ark subreddit, this raid was definitely not designed for 1620 like players. Like sure, 16, 16, you can enter the raid at 1620, but let's be real. Clearing it at that level is borderline impossible. I've seen elitists claim that, oh, I'm so amazing and perfect and beautiful. I am 1650 item level with a static group and I clear it easily. You just need to do 24 million DPS to clear the raid, and as long as you're not getting hit, you'll get the buffs necessary for the 24 million DPS. Right. Is that why even I had difficulty clearing this raid in a timely manner? Nearly 13 minutes for gate 2, by the way. This video is that, with multiple 40 million DPSers in my lobby. The lowest DPS in the group was doing 24 million, the so-called threshold, and actually, the majority of the DPSers in this raid were hovering 33 to 36 mil. So we were well over the, uh, not the item level, well over the damage requirements needed, and we still struggled. This raid is just too long with punishing patterns that require near perfect execution. Sometimes you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And with 16 players on the same map, this scenario is going to happen to somebody. I appreciate the 8 lives, but let's be honest, it's just not enough. So what are the options here? Maybe keep the 8 lives and nerf this raid to the ground. Then make a hard mode with slightly better rewards for those 1630 plus players. That way, the normal mode can be left alone for those at 1620 who just want to experience the content. Or... Another option, give us way more lives so that it's not a lost cause if half of them get wiped out from, you know what I'm talking about, that stupid lightning and waves pattern while it's dragging you to the edge. Hell, just don't do anything, but remove that one specific pattern from the raid and we would instantly see way fewer deaths. The game is already difficult enough. We don't need this extra layer of pain after having gone through Thamine and Echidna. Give the players a break. I thought we were heading in the right direction, and technically we are. We've been given a ton of loot, and the Transcendence plus Elixir changes were very much appreciated, but it feels like AGS lost their footing with Behemoth. This was supposed to be a fun, easy raid to prep us for Tier 4, but instead, it's making people quit and complain. All those great rewards and changes you made, yeah, people forgot about them because of how punishing this raid is. Don't you feel bad about it, AGS? You're not getting the recognition you deserve because of this raid mess. Let's do better. And let's talk about the elephant in the room. Oh, yeah. A 16-man raid? Who over at Smilegate thought this was a good idea? Gee golly whiz, we're going to make our community smile with joy by making them sit in Party Finder for hours to find 16 players. Yeah, great call guys. Absolutely zero team coordination because you throw 16 people into a raid, chaos is inevitable. It's already tough managing an 8 player raid, but 16? That's just doubling our frustration. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a 32 player raid in the next five years if the game's still alive the by then, gem. judging by how brilliantly decisions are being made over there at Smilegate. Oh my God. Hey, go even further beyond to 64 
and 20, 128 player raids. And eventually, you'll reach your diminishing player base number. And don't say we won't see these ridiculous high player raids. Did you think we'd end up with a 16 player raid after all the comments about 8 man raids and support shortages? These people at corporate don't play the game. If they did, we wouldn't be in this mess. The ones who do play clearly don't have any real power in the decision making process. Ah, <sighs> it's sad. The state of Behemoth is just sad. And this is coming from someone who cleared it. This was supposed to be a Trixian dummy, as Korean streamers claimed. But it's nowhere near that. The patterns deal way too much damage. And with hitboxes as janky as this fat ass dragons, it's not something you can dodge every time. And don't get me started on the camera right, angles. This? When this fat ass covers half Tornado. your screen, good luck dodging anything. Let's be honest, Man. this raid was Shoot rushed you, and lazy. It's clear that no one at Smilegate actually played this raid before releasing it. The problems are glaringly obvious for even me who played it for one single day and can identify every single problem. Yet nothing was done to address them. And honestly, I'm not even looking forward to 8 gear at this point. If this is the future of raids with Brelshaza 2.0 coming and whatever comes next, it's going to be the same story. Impossible for on item level players who have to pug with randoms. It's the same damn script every time. Let's change the script. Anyways, those were my thoughts on Behemoth. It was supposed to be the raid that got us excited and prepped for tier 4 and the simple raid to recover us from the disaster that was Daemine and Echidna, but instead it's making people want to quit and rage on reddit. We need some major changes here Smilegate and AGS, either tone this raid way down or change the mechanics that make it such a miserable experience. But let me know in the comment section. I want to know your thoughts, whether you agree or disagree. I will be reading them all. And for my pineapple gang, thanks so much for watching up until this point. I love you guys still. Our secret word going? of the day is fat because Behemoth is fat as hell. Look at him with his wings. Oh Thank my. you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Z, Z. Ah, the wind! Gone with the wind. Yes, it is. Gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. Oh yeah, actually you're right. It's pushing so much. Juice it as hard as possible. She said, "Okay, I'm turning it on. I'm turning it on." Your wish is my command. Your wish is my command, my liege. Ah, he's leaving. Out of here. Dude, how am I second place? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, my gems are so trash. Look at this. I have a level 8 lethal spinning. Oh my. Bruh. Alright, focus up. Whacking the crystal. Whacking the crystal. Whacking the crystal. And now the crystals are going to point at the boss. Going to stagger the boss. Going to stagger the boss. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. Come on, why? Okay, there we go. Smacking the crystals. Smack. Smack, smack. Smack, smack, smack. Do the big ones do more stagger? Maybe we should focus those ones first. Oh. Ooh! Whack the boss for an extra crystal. Relax the stacks, my dudes. All right, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Boom, and then boom. Okay. Watch out, back unsafe, back unsafe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Face bar. Oh, I didn't get it. I'm actually going to save my awakening. For an extra protection. Back unsafe, back unsafe. Run, my child. Ooh. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's coming this way, bottom right. Or bottom left, sorry. Dodge, 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 dodge. Ah! Oh my god, that was going for me. Oh my god, where is he backing up to, bro? He's dropping it like it's hot. On the real, bro. All right, big deeps, big deeps. Uh, uh, ding, ding, uh, ding, bing, 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 ding, dong, ding. Wait, we actually got it. Oh, back safe, back on safe, back on safe, back on safe. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Woohoo! And I, the, the one, the one pull, the one pull, I do Knight's Edge. Dude, come on. I could have been MVP here, man. The one pull, I do Knight's Edge. Oh, my. At least, at least I got second. Hey, at least I got second. I don't have the proper lethal spinning gem. I don't have harvest cooldown. And I still did number two. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe we killed it. Nice. That was a easy. Easy peasy. Gotta drop the GGs in there. Always gotta put the GG. Let's see. Any sidereal energies, anybody? 11.5k gold. <laughs> that is not worth 11.5k gold, by the way. I will say, though... You do need the, the gatekeeping is necessary here. Oh my goodness. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah, exactly. We, we all we all need to do 40 mil. We all need to do freaking 40 mil. Yeah, we need to do 40 freaking mil.